Okay, this is the triangle of death. So we got a call for a truck that is stuck. I hear it's in a precarious position, nose down on a mountain. I don't know. I haven't seen any pictures of it. It's up here near the town of Summit. We are in terrible weather conditions. I don't even know if we should be heading out. Uh, but we already are, so we're doing it. 37, rainy, windy, foggy. Here we go. You got Rhett back there to swing the camera. Usually when we have a crew like this, it's the weekend. Um, so the regular crew's off. But today it's a weekday, but the regular crew is off. So Lizzie's off, Tucker's off, Caleb's off. Jamie's off, but we're on. You gotta work with what you got. This is terrible weather, and we're gonna be working in this. Let's see if breakfast changes my mood. What do we got for breakfast today? Oh, ho, ho, lumberjack, right there. That's what I want. This is changing my mood. Who got there? The lumberjack. Lumberjack? Oh. They're really good. What'd you get, Rhett? The pork rib bundle. Oh, that sounds delicious. What are you getting? I already ate Cheerios. Oh, gross. All right, we have an update. We are about 10 or 15 minutes from the job. It is now 30 degrees, and it looks like this out there. This is my worried look. He's been using that look a lot after we hit the wall. The wall of doom. Rhett, are you nervous? I'm tired. What would Ed say if he was here? Oh boy, this is really bad, Matt. I don't think we should do this. <laughs> Ed would be the voice of reason. Should we call Ed, see if we should be here? <laughs> Gonna have to FaceTime him to show him the conditions. I'm not sure that would work. All right, we called and talked to the customer and he's trying to get us to go the way he went in, which is a different way than we just were. So what I'm saying is we're lost. <laughs> Here's where we are. You have anything to say about it? Um, this road looks muddy. Yeah, it was really hard turning around back there. We're not gonna get up this one super far. 12 seconds later. I think we're gonna park right here. All right, it's a good flat spot to turn around. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna turn around. And then park. And then park. Okay, we're gonna unload. We still don't know which way to go. We don't know if we're gonna go right or left. The map is showing two different ways to get there. We just tried going up this way, but we're gonna unload. It'll be better if we unload the more Varen drive around in it because a truck and a trailer in these kind of conditions looking for some way, not the best, not the best uh, rig to be doing that in. Got my victory pie in case we get this job done today. We're gonna eat our snacks and unload. out of trouble this way, you keep us out of trouble this way. Right. Is it up this hill? Yeah, it's going to turn right again on us. It's going up this hill. He's up here somewhere. we got to get the defroster fixed on this. Wait, wait, wait. We've got to get the defroster built on this. <laughs> it's not broken, it's just not built. Hello? Oh. You see him yeah, or his? Right there. There's a truck. I see the truck, but where's him? Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't see either one. Okay. Is there a truck over here? Yeah. We gotta get over there somehow. We've arrived at some. You can turn that off. We're flying visuals now. I don't think he's that stuck. Oh, this isn't gonna be too bad.
Well, it doesn't look too bad. I can see why he can't get out of here himself, though. Okay, so do you want us to meet you out on the main road? Um, yeah, why not? Okay, we gotta go back and pick him up. You want me to stay here and set anything up, or should do we all just jump in and go back? Let's just jump in and go back. Well, this isn't bad. This... No, we'll totally get this. He made it sound worse. Yeah. He, he stopped in time, like he could have slid that front end way down. This will come out. You know how you do the two pull thing? I think I'm just gonna do one. I think I'm gonna anchor to this tree and then hook to the frame in two places. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This one or that one, depending on where you position. Yeah. And then you grab him. And it's, I, we just need pressure this way while that thing saws back and forth. We can back it up, drive it forward as we yeah. saw him or up. Or spin him and pull him. Yeah, yeah, yep. he'll come out. All right, so we got up to the truck there, and then we talked to the customer, and we remembered that he has no way to the truck. So we're headed back to pick him up, and then we're going to go get that out of there. I think he just pulled up, so good time, and we'll grab him and head back. You got to know when to hold him. When to hold him. Well, when to fold. You threw me off. A little slow. <laughs> Thought we were passing no when apart. to walk away. No when to run. You never count your own money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough to count when, when the dealing's done. I know, I know, we should keep our day jobs, and we plan on it. It was bad coming through Cedar City and, and Enoch, and yeah. Summit was just awful. I know, sir. So y'all don't think you'll, you'll need to cut those trees nope. out of there? And we'll no, I, I think we'll be good. We'll, yeah. we'll get, we'll pull it out sideways. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, curl up. Are you comfortable? No. He said yes. <laughs> is, that what, is that what you heard? Yeah. This is greasy under there. Look at that. <laughs> I can't believe we drove blue steel up here. Yeah. Now that we saw it, I'm like, oh, we can get this one. That's cool. I tried, and then it just was like the, the heavy, the Duramax, you know, the engine, starts sliding down into that stand of trees. Yeah, the diesels are heavy. They're this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's rough to get through. Okay, so when we get out here, I'll take your rigging down, and I'm going to start rigging up. Okay. I'll move some trees. All right, we're going to be using this as our anchor tree. So when you go around a tree, you're going to want to use something that doesn't damage it. These trees are super tough. You could put a chain around these and they're fine, but we're going to use this nice strap here. And you want to go as low as possible. The higher up you go, the more leverage you have to rip them out. We're going to be trying this. We've used this once before in the shop to pull the wrecker in, but we've never used it on a job. So we're gonna see how that goes. So Tom, we're gonna need two soft shackles. Okay. And a, the 20 foot rope for a bridle. A 20 footer, okay. Mm -hmm. I will grab those. You looking to tie off the frame or up by the wheels? Yeah. Just, just do it. It'll in, be in between both wheels. This style, I've had a lot of problems with. If, they, if you don't use them on a 180, they tend to flop. So, Tom, we might have to use a different snatch block. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, we're heating? <laughs> yeah. They flop. On a 180 pull, they don't flop. But, but on a side pull, on like a side pull they're flopping. So. 
anything in particular I should look for. You go out like a frame hole. So on this this one I'm go. I don't know. Just gotta be. But does that give me sharp edges? They'll handle some really sharp edges. Really? Yeah, let's okay. see what do you got. Especially with the amount of pressure we're gonna put. Can we get this started? I'm working out through this hole. Yeah, I got it. Tell me what you think of that. I went through a hole in the frame and came out another hole in the frame. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's see if this is even gonna work. I'm gonna hold this so you can pull it. Be enough. Okay, that's in if you want to tighten up. Do you copy? This style of snatch block, it's really simple and lightweight, but I'm worried about it trying to flop under these circumstances, but we'll soon find out. No, oh, we've got to, we've got to change this anyway. Is that get, tree right in the way? Yeah, we don't want to take that tree take out. Take it out. I mean, it, it is just a weed in this part of the world, but we're going to let it slowly be choked out by this bigger tree that's shielding it from it's the side. It's actually a pine. All right, well, let's see if that flops. It's staying put. Okay, this is the triangle of death. If anything, yeah, that's going to straighten okay, out. So I need everybody on this side of the line. Get settled here. Make sure that I'm in neutral and drive. Okay, you're going to be wanting to go very, very, very easy. You're going to want the wheel turned all the way to the right. Oh, sorry. Put it in drive. Turn the wheel all the way to the right, and let off the brake very slowly. Okay, here I go. I'm off the brake with no movement. We want movement. Parking brake on? I'm checking. I can't see anything down here. Hang on. That parking brake will get you every time. Okay, we're going again. You want me to just bump forward a little? Start with the sequence. You got to keep going. Turn to the right. You're not turned to the right at all. That unstuck me. I can turn now. Keep going. Keep going, you're doing great. Okay, stop. I want you to turn to the left and back up. Nice and slowly, much more slowly than you just did. All the way to the left. Keep going left, turn to the left, turn to the left. There you go. Keep backing up, keep on coming. Keep on coming nice and slow, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay, stop right there. All right, you're gonna back up about four inches while turning all the way locked to the right. Oh, you're not back. You're not backing up at all. That's okay. That's whoa, whoa, whoa. That that ship has sailed. I want you to put it in drive and go all the way to the right and just nice and easy. Keep on coming, give it just a tiny bit of gas. Keep on coming, keep on coming. Keep on coming. Okay, all right. I need you to pull forward four inches and during that four inches, I need you to lock that wheel all the way to the left. All right, now I need you to put it in reverse and keep that thing locked to the left and gently back up. All right, stop. Um, jump out for a second. We're gonna finish spinning this around and get it that way. Thank you. 
Don't let it roll. Just control your speed all the way. All the way. Okay, put it in drive and turn my way. Slow down. Somewhere else. We're not pulling very hard now. Now we're just keeping the front end and I'm sliding if it wants to. All right. Yay. Thank we'll, you, sir. We'll put you in that. We'll just meet you back down at the... Yeah. because we did it oh man the taste of sweet victory mm. need I say more all right so Parker was nice enough to uh, buy us lunch he said we could eat wherever we wanted so we picked Brad's thanks Parker 